Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armel with a stock swoosh. I'm here today reviewing the SPY. So the market came in today, gapped up this morning, fell, not right on the open, but within the first 15 minutes, we had broken the low, and then we came down. Again, how will we close today? One o'clock in the afternoon. I didn't think we'd have a big sell-off bar today. I don't, still don't think we will. Could we? Yes. But it's already one o'clock, and if we were going to sell off huge, massively like we did two weeks ago, I think we would have already done it kind of into this area here. But we're trying to hold, and the first level of support, the most baby support, which is right in here in the SPY. So I think we're going to close today with a tail. The body today could be green or red. It's probably going to be red at this point here now. I don't think we recover from red to green today in three hours, but, but you know, anything's possible. But I think the market holds in here. Where we go tomorrow will be a, will be another telltale sign. You know, we could gap neutral and then rally. We could gap up. We could even gap down and rally tomorrow. So I, I know everyone thinks that the market is going to pull back and it's going to fall. And I had a long conversation with one of my students yesterday in a mentoring session about corrections. I do not trade corrections. I don't even like that word. This, you know, one of my students is using that word all the time. It's driving me nuts. I know that's how traders look to do stuff, but it's not the right rate to trade. So when I choose to take a trade or I'm reading a chart or I'm reading a trend or I'm reading a long-term trend or I'm reading, predicting where the stock's going to go with the market and I predicted the market extremely well, calling it higher and higher and higher, I'm looking at the gaps. The gaps are predictable. Corrections are not predictable, okay? That's a fact. So where will we pull back to? No one knows. It's not predictable. When we gap tomorrow morning, where we gap tomorrow morning will tell me in a predictable way where the market will go next. And that's, that's how you make trading decisions. Predicting the market will pull back into this area here, or this area here, or this area here, all the way down here. You can't predict that. So if you're looking to wait to go long something, waiting for a pullback, and it, actually, you missed this whole move if you were looking for that, okay? And even this move here, spin around really fast. So I'm sure probably a lot of people didn't even really want to necessarily buy this in here. Again, this is bought by institutional money, which lifted the market out to brand new all-time highs. Next, next real target for the SPY is 245 once we get over the high. I don't know when that is. And again, I won't know until I get up every morning and read the gap in the market, and that's what we're doing. I guess it was too much to think the market would make a brand new all-time high today and a gap up like we had a baby gap up on a holiday week. This week might be slow. We might be kind of sideways Thursday and Friday because of the holiday. People are still off. We might not make the move over the high till next week. I don't know. Again, I won't know until we see the gap. I predict the movement that stocks will make when they gap. And that's an event that happens in a chart that is predictable. Corrections are not predictable. Pullbacks are not predictable. Why? Because there's too many levels of support the stock and the, or the market could pull back to. So once we get over the high, the next real number in the SPY is 245. 250 is in sight, obviously, between now and the end of the calendar year as well. It's just when do we get there? Won't know. Market came in today small to medium. I do not consider this a big red sell-off day. This is not a panicky sell-off day at all. Okay, And this might be all we do before we get over the high. I, I just won't know until tomorrow morning. So where is the market going? Won't know until tomorrow morning where we go after today, but today I think we close um, as strong as we could considering the fact we've been red all day, but not a panicky bar, not a panicky sell-off bar. I do think the financials pulled this market down a little bit today, but it's nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing that I would short. It's nothing to go nuts over to the downside. I know people are hoping and dreaming and waiting for this market to collapse after the run-up it's had, but I think the run-up has barely gotten started, and I pretty much said that all along, and I was not incorrect. I was right. So we'll see where we go from here tomorrow morning. It will be very, very obvious to me in the pre-market tomorrow morning where we're gapping, where we're going to head after today. I think we close pretty much close to this you know, area in here today, somewhere between here and here, with a tail that's small to medium. And then we'll see where we go from there. Good luck, everyone. Have a great day. If you're interested in signing up for any of the Memorial Day specials, the sale is still on. The next Golden Gap class is June 10th and 11th. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com and have a great day, everyone.